What's going on, y'all? JT with a quick unboxing of the all-new Kronos XTR 2022 version. So there's a couple of updates that Team Corrali did to this vehicle. Um, basically, you guys can see this somewhat there if we don't get a glare there. But the biggest thing is going to be the heavy-duty steering blocks that they added up here. That is a major plus. That's what these vehicles needed, and it was kind of their Achilles heel um, for their monster trucks and also buggy. So they did add that in here, plus several other features as well. Which we'll briefly go over. They do have like a, a tower to tower brace to add, kind of like they did for the Skeeter. So they've addressed a lot of the um, issues people had before with the previous version. So this ought to be rock solid. You know, once I get this set up, we're going to actually take this through its paces. So there's going to be a link below in the description where I got mine from. I did get mine from Tiny Adventures RC. And they do have these in stock. So you guys can order them. I know a couple of guys I saw on YouTube got theirs from them um two i think a couple of days ago so they do have these on stock so there's a link down in the description below and they got the whole team probably lineup basically they got all their vehicles and stuff too so but anyway let me go ahead and crack this open and let's take a look to see what's inside and you guys know oh yeah, there's nothing like the smell of a new rc car so let me go ahead and let's get this out we'll take a close look at this real quick all right, y'all got this out. Let's shed a little light there. There we go. Hopefully the glare is not too bad. So this is a mean looking truck. I've always liked the way this looked. I love the color scheme they got for you guys. Know I love red and orange. So this color kind of <laughs> fits in with me. Now, just remember before you put these uh, decals or stickers on here, there is a plastic coating on you. You do have to take off before you put these on. So don't start applying the stickers and don't take that coating off because then you'll have to try to get the stickers off the coating and stuff. Because I've done that too. So, but anyway, I'm um, looking at this. So, the setup is going to be uh, a lot like the uh, 2021 version, where as far as the tires are the same, um, these feel a little bit stiffer, but they're not actually. But these have been good tires. I never had any problems or issues with these tires coming off the wheels for it. Um, suspension setup seems to be um, a little bit better than what they had with some of the previous models. Um, with it i don't know exactly what weight oil is in it but you guys may know if you can put it down in the comments below but some of the biggest major changes like i mentioned before look at that that looks good up in there so they did include this kind of tower to tower brace but then they also have this gps module that they put up in there so you can pack, put, um, put your gps in here um, if you were doing speed runs and then over here on this side is going to be kind of an on off switch if you want to mount that up in there which is good and this brace is actually good. I'm glad they did this. Um, and then there's a couple of other features that you guys kind of see popping up there um, as this video is playing. And I already have some electronics that I'm actually going to put in here. Um, but everything else is pretty much like the uh, previous model. They did do some improvements here and there with a couple of things. But the biggest thing, as I mentioned before, is going to be um, these steering blocks. Look at that. That even looks a lot better and beefier um, than the previous um ones they had up in there so i'm definitely going to be taking this out and doing some jumps with it i'm not going to try to break the truck but i am going to take the truck um through its paces because i know those are going to hold up a lot better i've seen nothing but good stuff from the team corrali uh, online community facebook community and stuff where they've actually installed those on some of their previous models and stuff and they haven't had any issues with so that was one of the biggest things um, about this but this truck is pretty much loaded with features it does cost you 449 like i said you can get this at tiny adventures rc and i'm gonna basically put a team corrali system up in there i did put on the youtube community um i had these two motors um which i was thinking about putting this one in here this is a um, 1650 kv and this is of course the stock team corrali motor you guys can kind of see the size difference between those two there but I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this Team Corrali system. And then there is a servo from Amazon. I thought I had it out. Let me go get this servo real quick. And then for the servo, I'm going to actually use um, this particular one. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's about 35 bucks shipped. But you guys see some of the specs there on it. It's 400 ounces um, of torque at 6 volts, uh, 493 at 7.4 volts. And then you guys see the speed is 0.23 at 6. It's a little slow, but I'll probably try to run this at 7.4 volts because it is a little slow at um 6 volts. I, I kind of want one that's going to be a little bit faster. So I may have to make some adjustments to that speed controller with this. I thought the servo was going to be a little bit faster than this, but at least it does have enough torque to turn it. Um, with it, I kind of like to run in my cars and my trucks, something that's got about 0.15 uh, or... Uh, 
15 was at hundreds of a second but we'll get this going we'll probably run it at six volts to see and then if that's not enough we'll actually turn it up but for 35 bucks you really can't beat that for kind of a metal gear servo so i'm gonna put this in here and then of course it's just an easy install well you have to take screws off underneath and actually take this out and then kind of loop this through there and then of course uh receiver and stuff goes in there and your esc goes on that side and that's how you mount all that up i'm gonna actually turn this around real quick there we go so you guys can take a look a better look at this on off switch here and then also this gps module here so that's good that they've done that um i've seen very few cars that have something like that in there but i think this is going to hold up i think team corrali actually got it right um with this model especially with the upgrade of the heavy duty steering blocks i think that was the major thing and i know i'm kind of beating a dead horse but that was the major thing um that was kind of popping out on a lot of people's cars so we no longer have that issue which is a good job there <laughs> with that so guys i'm not going to go too long in depth with this because you guys have seen me unbox this before um at least the 2021 version i just wanted to show you at least a couple of the updates and talk about those you guys saw some images coming up with the updates for this but i want to get this out running because i am feeling to run this truck i am feeling to um take it to the skate park uh take it to a couple of construction areas take it to some of my basic running areas that i run it to run it because i want to see how this holds up and i think that team Crowley actually nailed it with this particular one and then of course i'll take it out and at times i'll run it against other truggies and stuff like that and then if you guys want a super speed saturday test we can do it i've done it before um with this um on 6s this thing is crazy i think i couldn't even get it up to full speed on 6s um, especially with these tires i had to change the tires out but if you guys want that again put that in the comments below and maybe we'll get this out and just do a 6s test or a 4s and then 6s but i know that this has got some power and i got to check the dips to make sure that they have oil in it which they feel kind of like they do but we'll get it out do a test run first and then we'll kind of bring it back in and if we have to do some minor tweaks to it, we'll do it but i am excited about this i think team corrali got this right and I just like the way it looks. I ain't, I ain't gonna leave them. I love this orange color and stuff on here. But anyway, guys, put your comments down below. Um, what you think about this? Uh, Team Corrali stepped their game up. It's been about a year since they've actually announced this XTR version. And they actually um, did some upgrades to it. So they are listening to what people are saying, which is good. Because it's very important to keep things going um, with the hobby. To listen kind of what's breaking and stuff. Or what kind of what people want. So and they're starting off 2022 pretty good. I mean, they released the Skeeter and now they have this. So they'll probably do some updates to their other vehicles. And who knows? Maybe they'll come out with a big scale car, an on-road car, which I know if they got an on-road car, it's going to be really fast. But anyway, guys, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.